Hello there, actual crazy person here. So this is a murder mystery in a deck of cards. It's, I don't know exactly what it is. It almost seems like a game, but it's playing off some real stuff and some not so real stuff. Um, it, the first thing that, it, in the, that we take notice that we use is uh, the King of Hearts. This is a misprint way back in the day. He ended up without his mustache and his sword ended up twisted up behind him. But for for this, we're going to be calling it uh, uh, mur the murder from behind with a sword of the King of Hearts. And uh, so in real life, the ace was uh, used to be a tax and um, you would have to pay extra for this card. And uh, peop a lot of people would opt out for it so and they would play w with the deck without the Ace of Spades. But that's the reason why it's bigger. But um, the saying, uh, not playing with a full deck of cards, that's where it comes from. And it refers to being the odd one out. Uh, but for this thing, uh, it rep whatever this is, a game or murder mystery, uh, I, I think it could be a game. Um it represents the most powerful family and we're trying to find out if the murder is a plot to take over the deck and uh, one thing that you'll notice in pretty much most deck of cards is that everybody in the court will face the spade family all the things we're looking at will be the similar in most decks of cards uh, one th card the only card that doesn't is the jack of clubs He's the only one facing the same direction as the Spade family. Now, spoiler alert, I think it, it, the murder was committed by uh, the King of Diamonds. And I'll show you how I came to that conclusion. I used poker chips and uh, I used three colors. Um, one for non-suspicious behavior, one for suspicious behavior, and one for a permanent suspicion. And uh, I'll show, so it seems like a game like you could play it with people and you would sort of set the rules as you go along. And like if you wanted to gamble on it, you could bet on who you think is guilty in a just in a round or, or put a timer or something. But I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what this is, but you'll see it's sort of trying to solve a mystery with, with poker chips here. And uh, the first round, we need to get to know everybody. So we're not really going to look at the victim yet or any heavy suspects, but we're going to get to know everybody first. So these are the, this is the ruling class. So we're going to assume everybody has to align respectfully in some manner with their ruler, but we're still going to test the suspicion of the ruler because nobody es sus escapes suspicion so the first thing we notice is that his face is not aggressive aggressive is kind of to the side and confronting the other cards right so he's looking a little forward a little to the side so that's not suspicious but his sword is out in a, an aggressive manner it's not held back he is the ruler and obviously you would be expected to bow down to the sword so this is where the social aspect comes in is that a suspicious behavior or not suspicious behavior having the sword forward like this now in the ruling situation i i don't think you have to keep the sword forward you can keep it back so i'm going to say that's a little bit aggressive and that it is suspicious oh did i tell you about the cancel and outs and at the end of the round because i don't have enough chips we do this i do this cancel out then and it, it seems to work and get going. The goal would end up to be have the least amount of blacks and reds. Okay, anyway, moving on. So he's dead. That's a permanent suspicion right off the bat. He can't really remove that. But his facial expression is in alignment with his ruler. So that's not suspicious. He's unarmed. And he has a sword in his head. You know, that's he's supposed to have his sword out. Supposed to be. So that is suspicious. 
he he's in alignment with the face, right? So that's not suspicious. And his sword is out, but it's it's not confronting the king's sword, so that is not suspicious. And he is aggressive looking, right? He's he's squared off with him, whereas the others haven't, so that is suspicious. His sword is missing. That's a permanent suspicion. And his hand is empty, but he's, and he's got an axe behind his back. So that for this round, this would be a normal suspicion, I think. So the queen is next, and she's got her scepter out in front, and she's withholding her flower. So she's withholding her... her she, but her face is looking for it. So her face is not confronting everybody. And this is, again, you need each other to s decide. It's almost like, is having the scepter out and the flower back suspicious as a leader in the innocent check so i'm gonna say no that's on some level that's what a leader does and the king has his sword out forward so maybe they yeah they all got it out so that's not you know what that means that means this one is not suspicious that's what he's supposed to do She's looking forward, but her tribute is withdrawn. That is suspicious. Oh, she gets a permanent one, and he gets a permanent one, because we can always assume it's a plot for inheritances. Queen is in alignment with her queen and offering tribute. So that's a double non-suspicious. And that is the same with the Queen as di of Diamonds. Now, the Jack is squared off, and he is kind of aggressive looking, so that is suspicious. But his tribute is out, he's unarmed. So this is a situation where being squared off like that is actually not suspicious. He, that's what he's supposed to do. He's got the tribute out too. But he's got a hidden axe behind his back. You know what? That's a that's a permanent suspicion. And back here, that would means he would have gotten a double permanent. It's, oh. So it's pretty unrefined. Yeah, there isn't an answer to the murder mystery, right? But like some people think that uh, the cards represent people. Like this one, uh, Lancelot, and. Um, what were some of the other ones? Oh, yeah, Judith, I think. Yeah, people think the hearts is Judith. And then there was Charlemagne or Charles, King David, uh, Alexander the Great, Caesar. Okay, so I have to finish up with... Oh, he is facing the wrong direction. That He's the only one in the court facing the wrong direction. And uh, he's not in alignment with his ruling guy. So that is a suspicion. And he's armed. He appears to be armed when he should have a tribute. And uh, so that's a suspicion. Now, this is one of those situations where, like, he's the only one who can sneak up behind the king of the spades with a weapon. Nobody else can do that. Only these two can sneak behind him. And they're not really armed. Unless you count... The scepter. Maybe she could sneak up behind him. But none of the other kings can. None of the other queens. Or none of the other jacks. Just those two. So it's always possible this guy's a spy. Or he's an assassin. If he's a spy. Then this behavior is not suspicious. But for now. Because we don't know better. We're going to say that it is suspicious. And he is not aggressive like he is supposed to be or like he's being and like so he's not actually aligned so 
he nor what would normally be a passive behavior is actually suspicious and he's armed he shouldn't be armed he should be offering a tribute so that is suspicious so now we'll do the cancel and out move because i don't got enough chips to just keep on going and uh, so canceling out, you just one red takes out one black. Doesn't appear anybody else. Okay. So this next round, we got a murder. So you obviously have to, you almost really should have started there was with the with the victim um but uh we we just had to get things started get to know what's going on here so we're going to compare everybody else instead of like how we did before with the ruling class we're going to compare everybody with the king of hearts and uh we're gonna like we're gonna i i ran into some problems earlier trying to assume is this a living king of the hearts or is this a dead one because when you get to the queens like if he's living and and uh they're giving him flowers that's suspicious right but if he's dead and they're giving him flowers then it's not suspicious so you it like i said it, it appears to be a game um but begin we'll, we'll start over here and uh so they're not aggressive facing but he's got his sword out so that is a suspicious uh he he you probably wouldn't like i don't know how you would how this would work is that he's not aggressive and he's unarmed but he's also dead so yeah now he's sneaking up behind him and he's got a sword out. So he's got a suspicious, but his sword is pulled back. So he'll get a not suspicious for his sword placement. And, oh, he's sneaking up behind him. His sword is missing. You know what? Only, only the face is suspicious because in this case, the empty hand Wait. Did I, was I assuming he was alive or dead? I was assuming he's dead. Okay, so face expression is suspicious. Permanent suspicion for empty sword. And um, also empty hand is suspicious with, with, with that axe too. So it, on the surface, empty hand. Looking to the side doesn't look very very suspicious but in the with these premises is it does okay so the queen in respect to the dead king um she's looking forward with the scepter but she should probably be offering a flower to a dead king even if it's her servant uh the wife the wife is looking forward but she's withholding her flower now see that's another debatable thing or wait that's another debatable thing is like, is it the last flower? So she wants to keep it or should she be offering it now? Because it's a, it's a dead husband. I'm going to go with not suspicious for withholding the flower in that situation. I'm going to assume it's a last flower and then looking for, I'm out of I'm out of blue chips. So that would almost end the game. And you'd count the most suspicious person. I get the king of diamonds. I want to keep going forward because I didn't make it to the end of the round before canceling out, but I'm gonna cancel out anyway and just at least get to the end of this round. Yeah, that appears to be everything. Okay, so I ended on the Queen of Hearts. Queen of Clubs, looking forward, is not suspicious. Not suspicious. 
Oh dear, I just ran out again. I gotta take some of these really non-suspicious people. Oh, I'll take it off the leaders. I should... No. Um, I'll take the four off. I'll take these queens off. Just to get to the end of the jacks here. Okay, so he's looking kind of aggressive. But he's offering tribute to the king, a dead king. He's looking aggressive, that's, but he's in mourning. Like, he kind of would square off, so that's not very suspicious. And he's offering a tribute, but he's got that axe behind his back, so that's a permanent one. And then he's, he's looking away, and he's got a weapon in his hand. He, again, he's doing some fucking crazy shit, and he's looking non-aggressive. And his weapon is kind of drawn back, but he's not supposed to have a weapon, so that is suspicious. And I think when we tally it up at the end of this, so he's got three permanents, two, one. He's got one and four reds, unless we consider him a spy. If he's a spy, none of these exist. Jack of Diamonds. He, he doesn't. He's not that suspicious. I can actually cancel out, and he's only got two. But he's got three and three, so he's got the most out of everyone. He's looking pretty guilty. And another thing is, look at this. Okay, so. He's unarmed, but he's got the hidden axe behind his back. He is armed when he's not supposed to be to. You got the dead king, so already the heart force is weaker. It's easier for him to go after him. What if he is an assassin, and he's effectively framed him, and this guy is actually pleading for his life and trying to defend himself because there's going to be a war? Now, if there's a war, um, only the Red family has two weapons. Or, no, no, these both these families have two weapons in, uh, in, in their families. Whereas these guys, unless you count the scepter as a weapon, right? So right off the bat, you're going to have a defeat from either one. So somebody, it's po like it's possible he is framing him and all this behavior isn't suspicious. I don't know. It's crazy. It looks like a game. You, 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 maybe you can try it out for yourself. Tell me what you think. Um, thanks for your time and uh, have a nice day.